after I sanded all the top I couldn't see any cracks I presume all the dust heated up and uh, sealed all the cracks out of view as soon as I spray painted it that's what happened so I've got quite a few of those to get rid of now so I can feel they're up in the air a bit let's see what happens if I do this so I'm gonna have to putty them at least this way I can get to the bottom of it on the other side when I could see what I was doing I took it right down to the uh, layer of fiberglass Good. fresh paint still have to uh, sand them and I've rubbed off most of the paint but I've decided to try and take off these, uh, this hardware that's brass and it's plated and the plating's come off nothing I can do with that get them off and replace them or get them done too expensive It's pulled through and it's only just under the skin, the nut. Another episode of masking that I uh, shouldn't have had to do. However, I've lowered the front of the boat so I can uh, stand over it. I have to give it a wipe with acetone. It's a clean rag on the inside. Mask the yellow to do that. Now, all winter it's been uh, temperature 16, feels like 12. From now on it's going to be temperature 16, feels like 18. That's done. I've shaken the paint tin for nearly a minute already. Testing. Yep. In, so this actually is the last tin. Bit of a nuisance. Let me try now. That's more like the chute, eh? Very high. The wind will blow it away. So it might need nuts. Five 
good, isn't it? And a tote number four coming up. Strange that, the further I get away the better it looks. Coming out. I'm having a fair bit of trouble getting this tape to uh, come off. It looks like it's separating and leaving the gl blue glue. My wife warned me about this. She says it's been on too long. I said she'll be right. I could just make another mistake. And here it is. I'll, I'll get a run and then it'll break. Like that. Yeah, this is the side that's been exposed to the sun. Bit of bit of luck the other side mightn't be as hard to get off. Okay, enough of that. This side's no easier than the other side, but I've uh, discovered something. And I hope I can remember how I did it. I'm just sort of rocking this way and that way. That way only half of it gets the half of the tape. The whole tape is lifting part of the tape during the rocking process. I think. Hello. going a lot faster like this. Oh no, see I just stopped doing it and it ruined the action so I'll just stop now and continue what I'm doing a second ago. Okay what I think it is the tape has inherent weaknesses when they make it on a budget and every now and then when you take it off the reel to use it it tears across at an angle like this. And now it's doing the same thing when I'm trying to get it off. Oh, that might have been, huh? I don't know if it was the end of a tape or not. Anyway, keep rocking. There's running, I hope. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not doing this for nothing. It's serious. It's faulty. It's not a hundred percent. It's a uh, junk tape. Made a bit of a mistake yesterday, I just put on too much paint. I putted up the pinholes and then uh, when I was trying to get it, get it down smooth, this paint was so soft it came with everything. So I'm just washing it off with acetone. My problem now is I don't have much white paint left. But I can always buy more. Those ravens think I have something here that they can eat. Now I'm getting rubbish off the rag. It's falling apart. Very, very impatient. It uh, struck me earlier that these boats were made at such an early stage that whoever made them didn't have much experience. Maybe they were just kids employed. But uh, the masking on this side was halfway up on the white bit. On that side it was halfway onto the uh, flat. And the other thing was the wiring in the port light they came up through the holes in the uh, metal part, which is only tiny holes, part of the structure. Instead of coming up behind it and then just going in uh, 
around it, the starboard light was okay. That's the only problem with these upside down or any place you like cans. There's no spray pattern. Probably doing this wrong, I'm supposed to go like this. Not like that. That was coat one. Here comes coat two. Empty-ish. However, I can get a fair bit more out of it. So that was code two. Going for code three. Code three. Code four, here I come. Very confusing what looked like patches, actually shadows from the trees that don't have any leaves yet. What have I done here? Looks like a big blob. Don't like that. <coughs> Code four. I'll have to wipe that off. Coat five and final. I have to spend another eleven dollars. What can you do as I say? Look at those nasty little pinholes coming back. You've done that first. I'm going to remove the masking shortly. So, uh, it's a pity I couldn't finish the white bit. I'm putting talcum on all these screws. Then I'm going under. I've got four vice grips, three here, one in the boat. I'll go down and hold the nut. I put the nuts and washers and the nut, and then the vice grip to hold the nut. Then I can reach over and screw them down with a screwdriver. I'm just running some polish over this uh, before I put the hardware on. Just the final uh, kit number one. It's polished, no cutting. But I keep catching on little snags. So there, there, there. You hear that? Once I've gone over them, they seem to uh, disappear. Now I did see somewhere one of the fellas doing a boat. He was putting. Uh, metal flake into the spray paint and then he, afterwards he had to sand it with uh, the TA sander with very fine grit to knock down all the upstanding bits of metal flake. So I wonder what's standing up in here. I think there seems to be absolutely no wind however it should start coming just when I start pushing the button on the can. This is an empty can. So I'll have to uh, apply. See that? Told you. Final coat. Stop wind. Wind. Cut it out. Don't do any more. I'll mess it up. Alright, I won't done. Well, I've done it again. Couldn't leave well enough alone. I was cleaning up along here and I hit the rubber and got black on the paint. It'll have to be sanded off. But another thing is this is uh, lopsided. That one comes in, that one comes out. I might have to get a brush one day. I'm not going to do it now. As far as I'm concerned it's finished. Well, I've gone over it with Mr. Buff and uh, I don't know, there's a lot of ups and downs. 
So the next polish will be done with uh, kitten number two. Slightly abrasive. I've just applied some kitten number two and we'll see what happens. If it doesn't go away I'll have to get a machine out. And when I get the machine out I make big problems. I tend to let the edge of the pad or whatever dig into the walls or into the flats. I think I'll leave this on long enough or something. One minute should be long enough, should it? Now I'm not getting anywhere with the buffing compound, so I'm going to sand it wet and dry, or wet sand it, 180, then 400, then 1200, and then I'll get the buff out. Hand sanding is not doing it. I'm going to uh, use the PA. One lousy sheet of 320. Just tipped a bucket on the top. 